Hey guys, how are you going? And oh, welcome back to another episode of this Cricket 22 career mode. In today's episode, playing another first class game. We're playing the Blues at Blunston Arena now. This will be our last first class game for quite some time. So after this, we've got some BBL. And then we've also got some PSL uh, in the uh, month of February. And then we'll kick back in with some Sheffield Shield. So it's exciting times all around. Let's get amongst it though. We are currently first. New South Wales are fifth. They've won only the one. We've won four. We're no chance for Australia. That's okay though, because we'll try and score bulk runs here. And here we go. Most of ours have called tails. They probably will want to toss here. Just hoping we get a chance to. Oh, okay. Medium grassy. I am going to bat. It's never failed us before, really. Uh, usually, when we do bat on a green seamer at Blunston Arena, we score bulk runs. Here we go. Walking out to the crease here. Two thousand three hundred sixty runs. Seventy eight point seven average. Ten fifties. Eight tons. Get around it, uh, Tazzy 1 for 159, Ward out for 93. And I'm also just going to put the batting at hardest for now, just to have a look, because I feel like the difficulty with that we had in the last episode was actually, I mean we scored 91 off like 200 plus balls, but then I was playing, um, I, was, I was doing a stream with it right, and uh, my player scored a double ton at a strike rate of around, oh, it was like maybe 150, 160, and we're hitting 6 for fun. So... I still think it's a bit too easy, so I'm going to go straight hardest. The only difference now is that I've got the uh, I've got the uh, pitch marker here, so I don't know what sort of role that's going to play. But this is the legit hardest one, the one where we really struggled at last time we've tried it. But with the addition of the pitch marker, I'm not too sure uh, if we'll make it easier. It definitely won't make it harder, but I just don't know based on the sliders if it's just going to be edge city. So uh, it will be interesting to see. I've also put physics up to hardest. Now, it was uh, saying med, like every time you changed it, it would auto always revert back to medium. So I've managed to change that, and it's worked. So currently on hardest for the physics as well. Hardest for the batting. Let's get around it. 1 for 167. I'm not expecting to do well. It's more a trial just to see how we'd normally, or how we would go. And then I guess from the hardest, then we can probably like, have a look at moving some sliders back and forth like only by like maybe like five points each and just keep on change well and change until we get a good, nice little uh a nice little uh balance i should say um anyway we've faced six balls we haven't scored a run there we go first runs on the hardest it's all about the timing i reckon because okay footwork didn't really matter too much. So just have a look at what the hardest is actually like, right? So I want to see more like put the edges. Sorry for the ramble on. I just really keen on trying to figure this out. So like the the edges, okay input influence. So 40 40% 40 chance of edging it if you are only okay. 100% chance if you're poor, okay? So good's only 10. Interesting, okay. Now this is probably somewhere that I might actually change uh, in the future. But if you're doing a poor, if you time it poorly, then you're pretty much going to shnick off and get out. So it really, um, really just cooks you if your uh, difficulty, if your timing is poor. So uh, what have I done here? I don't know. It's, uh, it's an exciting time. Yep, hardest. Good, let's go. And uh, we've got Forbes, 1 for 28 still, 1 for 170. Apologies for the ramble. I'm just really trying to get a good, uh, a good balance. Trying to make it difficult enough that it's not impossible, but it's also um, like quite tough to score runs. It's hard to find the balance. So that was okay, okay, good ideal. Hmm. And that's out. What have we done there? I didn't get to see the timing. I was trying an R1 L2. Fuck, that is so upsetting. That's a duck. No, one. One of ten. Hmm. This is so, it's just so aggravating having to adjust the sliders so much fucking grinds my gears anyway we'll have a chance with a bowl here and then with the bat do i stick with the hardest i don't know it's fucking annoying um we'll have a look you anyway, having a bowl 54 at 38 oh look at this field jesus we've got a bit going on here do i like it yes two for 28 ninth over uh must be quite late in the day well oh, bold we did make 292 and uh, in reply, 2 for 28, it's 555, so I think we've got like a couple overs left. Put ourselves on really late in the day, trying to snag a cheeky wicket. Patson 12 and Sanger 1. 
some good jag too. At least we've got the bowling pretty much um, set up for like a challenging sort of difficulty, I guess. Because uh, we still get hit for a few runs, but we are taking more wickets now because we've got that ideal release. So I'm pretty happy with how the bowling is. It's just the uh, the batting, which is an absolute clusterfuck at the moment, and I'm not enjoying the uh, tinkering of it. We're still uh, in here. Day one. Can we make a breakthrough late on? Mate, you're not running there. It's good. That's why I've got the short cover in there. Going to bring the keeper up here. We've, uh, he's edged at the last two balls, so I reckon we're a chance here. Going uh, out swing Yorker outside off. They either leave it or try and drive it. Oh, that's it. Sit out. Thank you. You can kind of sense when you're about to get a wicket because they start playing some really weird shots and edging it. And I mean, you saw there that didn't the first one didn't carry. Bring him up, and he's just caught it. So he wouldn't have caught that if he was back. So that is an unbelievable change there. And Sanger departs for five. And here we go. Start of a new day. Pretty happy with how that went uh, late yesterday. Three for 39, New South Wales. And uh, Edwards, first ball, leaves that one. Nice. But yeah, in that game against the Bulls, the last game, we did find that those uh, those Yorker, or even full toss some of the time, out uh, outswingers, really uh i mean more often than not it was either a dot ball or a wicket sometimes an edge for four i don't know why i went up there oh hang on oh lucky really enjoying this little spell here asking questions struggling to uh, get us away and blocking it they can't get quick singles either because of that short cover so we are causing a bit of pressure here between patterson and uh edwards can we get a wicket driven not a bad shot. We are really doled in though. We're bowling ideal. We've got like 155 plus Ks. Ooh, that was 158.9. Will we ever hit 160? I don't think we will. If we can though, that'd be nice. Can anyone hit 160? I don't think I have. Wall bowled, 159.8. Okay, very poor ball. Just waiting for the, uh, the four ball. And uh, first ball gets one. Once again, two straight, walks across the stumps. Nice little glance there, and it's probably going to pick up another boundary. So the figures are taking a beating this over, and uh, I'm not a fan of it. What is it? One for 12. Fucking hell. All right, got to get him out now. Good shot, and no run. Oh, you fuck. Absolutely launch into that one. Massive massive edge and goes down for four. We are back. One for 16 off six. Two maidens. Three for one, 16. Nice little partnership here between Patterson and Edwards. Can we make the breakthrough? That's a terrific start. In swing, a bit of seam angle. And uh, let's see what we can do with the jump. Oh, that was a bit late. No need for the roll, son. What? Let's try it again. Same angle there. And then let's try and uh, do this jump. Oh, okay. It's six fucking big ones. Jesus, Curtis. Got him. Oh, that was bloody lucky. Did a bit of a same angle there. And uh, I mean, I don't think it caused anything like that. Just inside edge onto the stumps. We have been seeing quite a lot of that in the, uh, in the games with the current patch. Goes for 62, picked up R second, and uh, let's cause a collapse. You want to bowl dots? You want to go out swing? You want to go after touch down, which just makes it shorter than a full toss potentially, and outside off. And they just leave it. I mean, that was a full toss as well, but they're leaving it. So, uh, interesting. Normally on the last ball of the over two, they try something, maybe like a drive or just something. Sometimes you can inside each for four, sometimes they inside each onto the stumps. But it is a legitimate dot ball tactic. So we'll try it once more. Okay, not a great example as he fucking booms this one through extra cover. So I'll just shut up. Yeah, not a good start. 2 for 28 here. Figures are nice though. So now he leaves it. Why didn't you do that last ball, mate? Oh, that was lovely. Got him. So I brought it back a touch. I pressed triangle with a four ball. And we've seen another inside edge. Just a second of the innings. Stiff, mate. Seeing a lot of them. What's it? Uh, what's causing it? That's the real question here. Abbott, the new bat, special shots. It's okay. Three, four, twenty-eight now. Five wickets to go. Can we get two extras? 
for a cheeky little Fifer. Currently decimating the middle order here. Hopefully it continues. And uh, we'll get Abbott's Wicket here. Leaving it. 150.9 Ks. Kilometers are decreasing. Let's get back. Uh, outswing up. And uh, let's uh, edge one by one. No. I love it uh, as it bounces. It just like, it sort of jags away as well and also swings away. It does like, and I'm bowling an outswing delivery, so it's not like I'm choosing it to be a cutter. It's just this uh, line. Oh, no. Oh! Okay. Jeez, there was, was a bit of a bit more urgency there for mid-wicket. Catch! Got him. That was a little cutter. Drew him into the shot. Don't know why he went back to it. Jagged away. Picked up an edge. Great dive there from the keeper. Yep. Nice little jag away. I'm going to take another replay of this. Wouldn't have carried to the slips. Don't even know why I've got them back. Forbes departs for one. Sam's a new bat. Let's take a quick look here. Now, it was hard to see if it actually did jag or not, but I reckon it did. Let's uh, try and work this out. Yeah, geez, that jagged a bit. Yeah, nice. Huge outside edge. Beautiful. Sam's, once again, the drive. 4 for 34. How good is bowling? Ooh. Nice. Oh, we're stuck. Uh oh. Last ball of the over. Wicked Madden on the cards or a bullshit four. Hmm. Nice. Wicked Madden. We're back. 4 for 34, 16. Seven maidens. What is this field? Star construct number 11. We can skill the drive. We know what to do. Can you get a full leg cutter? It's going to be jagging in. Is it going to clean bowl him? Hopefully. That short leg there though might go a touch shorter. In swing, angle. And now let's play with the jump. Got it! Stiff. It's the third inside edge but uh, hang about. Uh, that is the Pfeiffer. Don't get many of them. About three inside edges. It's uh, extremely lucky. Five for 35 of 16.2. Uh, looks like the bowling's going pretty good. Now we just got to figure out his fucking batting sliders. Okay, so I've come up with a new batting difficulty. Only the 15th one. So we don't need to worry about that. Okay, here we go. Hardest. So this is, I think it could be a mixture between the hardest legit, like normal one, default one, and the one that we used the last couple ones, which is similar to, real similar to the twisty one. So... Ball market display time 3, 5, 5, 95, 95, 2, 95, 95, 5, 95, 5, 22, 5, 30, 90, 5, 5, 90 for the time window, 0, 20, and 100. Now, the biggest difference I've made would have is, I think, 10. And I think it might be like timing window. I think pull input influence as well. But nothing's greater than 10, I don't think. Pretty sure. Um, I don't know. I really don't know how this is going to go. We're going to play with this uh, difficulty. I'm going to try my best. So batting is going to go to a new, 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 new. There we go. Okay. Let's give it a go. And uh, I mean, all the fucking best. Hatcher. We're one for one, five, six. Okay, so we're flying. Let's continue to score runs. No run there. So uh, yeah, let's see how this uh, this difficulty goes. Oh, yep, well played, well played. Got to get a decent score here. We've come fresh off our Fifer. The confidence is high, even though it doesn't really show with the batting here. Oh, we fit it. Oh, no, we didn't hit it to the field, or we hit it to the fielder. Meanwhile, Jules out there, 88 not. Seeing him like a beach ball. Uh, run rate of 3.78. What's the lead, actually? 250, day two. Plenty of time. We've got to bat all of day three. Well, I mean, we won't, because we'll probably get all out before that. Oh, well played. Good line. So, turns out it's day three here. Nice. One for one, six, nine. 93 for Jill. We're nine balls without face, uh, without scoring. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness the uh, the field had an absolute nightmare. I think we might get... Do we, do we try three? No. We'll set it for two and uh, get off the mark. Two of 13. Seeing it like an absolute beach ball with no middle on, though. Is it going to ball straight? Oh, there we go runs okay ideal ideal it's just interesting to note based on the sliders what the timing feedback actually is it doesn't seem like footwork takes a huge uh like makes a huge difference i mean if it's okay good ideal i think you might be safe as long as the uh the timing and shot choice is fine but i mean both ideals there probably saved me just interesting to know we move on to five. Oh my lord I tell you what, I play that late, I did realise that, yes, 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 that's fine. 
That is just... I mean, yeah. Yeah. I'm... I mean, I'm annoyed because I didn't get a good chance to play with this difficulty. Uh, which is annoying. And because we're now moving on to 2020, I don't really want to play with the hardest difficulty because I want to be able to hit bombs and uh, hit boundaries and that sort of stuff. And without it, I feel like it would be very difficult to try. I might try the first game or so. But I actually want to take a replay of this uh, ball. Because I'm pretty sure, even though I played it way too late, I'm pretty sure it would have done something as well. Not that I'm making excuses because I've just played it way too late. But yeah, it's actually, it's on target. And... Oh, okay. I mean, I was playing the defensive shot, but it wouldn't even gone onto my bad A. Eh? It would have just, I would have still missed it, regardless if it didn't move or not. It just was a fantastic ball. Moved away slightly, just hits off stump. I mean, first real failure of the season, really. That's okay. It's okay. We took five. At least we've contributed this game, albeit uh, not with the bat. But what they need, 414 and a 355. I would be shocked if we lose from here. But, I mean, they're already three down. I kind of I really want to try and get a 10 for, but it's probably going to be a bit tough to do it from here. Catch. Nemo we'll slips, do we though? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I just don't know. Drew him to the shot though. Lucky not to get him out. Maybe do I put one of them wider? Not sure. Catch, catch, catch. Oh. Gone over. I thought he just didn't time it at all. And it was going to be spoon to cover. But look at that short cover there. What are they doing? Oh, jeez. That's four. Risky shot. I mean, we could have had one of those teleportations where the uh, short cover just jumped and took an absolute screamer. Not to be this time, though. But uh, the risk, risky shots are being played. Oh my lord, he's done it again. He did that exact shot against me in the first innings. This one's got him further back, I reckon. Christ almighty, Curtis. It wasn't even really there to pump. Oh well, let's try and get him off, uh, schnicking off again. Not bad. Waiting. Yep. Nope, what the fuck was that? He dived, he didn't need to dive. He just stood there, he would have stopped the ball. Oh, I mean, while good in theory, just... Uh, diving stuff the execution is uh yes no a run there we're back uh we haven't bowled in a while the wickets have been shared between meredith and bell bell's had three meredith's four seven for 205 here can we clean up the tail edward's 84 though so uh get him off strike try and get sam's on because we did get him out last innings with those bullshit inside edges so maybe we can try that again no run oh wow Catch, 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 catch. No, wishful thinking. Just hits over the top. Quite risky, but a good shot. That's four. And that is the ton for Edwards. What a shot to bring it up to. Fucking hell. Oh, well, I'm mean, still in the losing calls. So if he gets an unbeaten one, then uh, he will uh, have done a good job. Oh, that's out. Plum. Thank you. Full toss. Good knock though from Edwards. I want to go upstairs just to have another look, but that uh, looked pretty bloody plum. That's our first of the innings. Hit him right in the full. Yep, right down in the middle, middle and leg. Oh no, even jagged away. Jeez, that is plum. Full toss though. Interesting that he didn't go for it. He's on 101, so he's seen them pretty well. Maybe just too quick. Slid under the bat. Oh my lord, what a delivery. Get him all ends up. Nice. Done and dusted. Looks like Jewel, man of the match, of course. Yep, so he picked up 77 and 104. Uh, meanwhile, Ward uh, picked up 93 and 74. So our opener's doing all sorts. One by 161 runs, so it keeps us top of the table for the Sheffield Shield. We picked up one of 10 with the bat. We really struggled with the bat uh, here, but we were playing with the difficulty sliders. Uh, for another Fifer, haven't picked up many, but it's good to see we can... Uh, Take a few poles now. 5 for 34 of 16. 7 maidens. Probably one of our best spells we've ever bowled. And then we batted again. 5 of 15. Got done by a good nut. And uh, yeah, then we finished up with 1 for 43 of 12. But uh, what a great win. Here we go. Back in the sheds. What do you want, mate? I'm very happy with how we're going out there, team. Cheers for your shit little pep talk, son. Here we go. Okay, here we go. What are you going to say? Just never looked in with a shot of chasing this total down. Must be disappointed with this batting performance. Sir, don't come at me with those questions. I mean, it's not true. We just won. You can only do so much with a bat. What? I mean, none of this makes sense. It's like you're picking them out of a hat. What do you want? 
Um, not how you would have wanted the season to end. Mate, we won the fucking game. Do you think this is a blip? What is going on? Is this to do like our club team maybe? Are they taking our club results? I don't understand. Well, well, well. I'll tell you fucking what. We have a bit of movement here and holy shit. So you've seemed to caught the eye of Australia for the Australia Tour Bangladesh Test Series. If you want to sign on the dotted line, I can pass this back and you, we can uh, get you all set up. If you're not interested, I can let them know that they'll need to try better next time. Hold up. We've got an Australian call up. Ho, ho, ho. Accept. Oh, here we go. Oh, I wanted to give you a quick chat with you before you go out there. Are you nervous? It's okay to be. What? This is a new cutscene. This is a huge step in your career. Just remember that you are in this on this you are on the squad for a reason. You deserve to be here. Okay. Wow. Take a good deep breath, drink in the atmosphere, then get out there and show the world why you were given that hat. Unbelievable. It's uh quite uh quite nice. Here we go. It's it does make it a bit shit when we're in our BBL kit. Got a new we've got new blood joining the team today. I mean who are these blokes? These are the stars blokes. I mean, it's in theory, this is good. This should be good. But first of all, I don't know why we're in playing kit. The wrong, ba the wrong playing kit to, to boot. So this is supposed to be the Australian team. And they're using the Stars team. So it kind of makes it a bit shit. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I mean, you get that in big jobs. Depends when, we're, when are we going to be playing. We might not be able to play the PSL. So it looks like we are playing the Big Bash. When are we playing? When are we going? Here we go. Oh, it's ages away. In Feb. And what's it now? December. Jeez, I've gone the early crow of the squad announcement. We're playing in Bangladesh as well. I have to update the Bangladesh side. But uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like we're going to play a, like a PSL game. And then we're going to fly to Bangladesh. This is all kicking off. Wow, okay. I can't. That was sort of out of the blue, right? Uh, what is the team situation? Fringe member. So this is going to be test side. Right, okay. And now, for, in the meantime, we're going to play some Stars uh, BBL. So, absolutely sensational scenes. So, uh, anyway, that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like and subscribe. If you are feeling up to it, leave a comment down below. Always appreciating those. But uh, until then, take it easy.